achievement unlocked on a wing and a prayer don't repair to sector five we've technically not repaired at a store we've repaired ourselves so it that counts so mind control actually does not work on slugs so we are going to have a bit of a problem in dealing with slug ships now that one of our major advantages is moot I challenge you, okay? I don't exactly know what's happening here, but I will hull repair immediately because I really do fear that missile launcher. This is gonna be a very difficult encounter, I think. So much so that we're going to use the burst laser round. I'm not even going to try to fire these guys to death. Get their shields offline. Don't need to worry too much about, their, about, about me not having the combat drone because we have to take their shields offline before the uh, drone can actually get in there and deal damage. Okay, let's get it online now. One more ion shot or their shield's going down. I can actually shoot with the burst laser. Did take one of their weapons offline. They have a missile coming in though. It missed though. That's a nasty missile too. Okay, ion blast, you need to hit. They've cloaked. They will probably get their shields unionized. Yeah, shields are now back, but I can shoot my burst laser. Missed all the shots though, so their missile launcher is still online. Ions need a hit to keep their shields offline. This is a four damage missile, I think, too. It missed again. Holy shit, we're getting very lucky. They will run out of missiles eventually, but ideally I'd like to kill them before that happens. Their cloak only lasts for five seconds, so that's pretty good. I need something else to land to take their shields a little bit further down. I'm gonna fire right now. Their missile missed again, which is actually kind of amazing. Ions are hitting. Ions hit, they have no shields. I think I can sneak a burst laser in there. I can take that missile offline. It's not offline. It has so much, they have so much weapon system. We did get hit for four. Fire I can put out very easily. Get the burst lasers in. Ah, here we go. We can accept their surrender and get 48 scrap plus a repair burst weapon. This repairs all breaches plus system damage in a room when you use it, you use it on your own ship. We can sell this. I, I'll have to look at this later, but I wonder if we would get a different weapon drop if we tried to kill them. I'm actually just going to accept this and take the 48 scrap plus the, uh, the weapon. So there we go. We took a little bit of damage. We got hit by one missile and we picked up 48 scrap plus a weapon that we can sell. That's pretty good, I would say. I will have to check later to see if we could have gotten a reroll on that weapon, because I would obviously like something better than something we're not going to use. That being said, that was a very good beacon. It gives us also enough scrap that we can get both weapon systems online at the same time. This means that we can really punch through enemy shields, take a weapon offline, start a fire. Okay, this is a four shot charge laser, can shoot up to four times, and a three shot laser kind of dangerous but I think we can deal with this situation they also have a detached oxygen and engine system so theoretically what you can do is light fires in these two rooms and just smoke them out basically unfortunately both shots hit and their lasers are coming in but both of their laser shots missed very very lucky there okay start the fires start in the oxygen room because they can't deal with that all of their weapons are offline because we damaged and then ionized their systems. Very important that that order is what actually happened there. I don't really care about their one laser system, so I am just going to kind of wait a second on the burst laser. Start some more fires like this. Keep them from repairing their weapon system. And we can definitely, definitely kill them. Even though we can't see them, we can definitely kill them. Keep their shields offline. That's the only thing I should be shooting at right now. If I had a slug crew member, I could see their crew members. I couldn't see their HP though. One more hit and the fire will, the fire beam will come out. 
There we go. Start firing the oxygen system, shields, piloting system. There we go. Now there should be a fire in the oxygen system. There is. There's a fire in the piloting system. I don't know where the crew are, but you know, they only have at most 100 health, unless they have a rock person, which would be annoying. Also impossible for me to tell right now. Start some more fires. Achievement unlocked. Some people just like to watch the world burn. I don't know if it actually said the world. I wasn't paying that much attention. There might also be a crew member in the uh, engine room now that I looked at it. We get 47 scrap, which is a lot. We also get a drone part, which is nice. I need those. We only have five left. Plus an ion intruder drone, which is actually freaking awesome. Ion intruder drone requires three power in the drone system, but it launches a drone at the enemy ship, which ionizes their systems. It's not very good but it's something that we can use in the later game if we wanted to. For now though, what I might do is actually actually just sell it if we get the opportunity. Nothing. Nebula beacons tend to have a good chance of having nothing in them, better than average, so you know it's kind of annoying that we are getting a couple of empty beacons, but you know, it happens. Now this ship does have human crew members aboard it, but because we do not have working sensors, we can't use mind control. We have to see them in order to use mind control. So what I think we can do is kill them without needing to use a combat drone. I do need to take their weapons offline though, because they do have a double shot, one shot laser. They can pierce my shields. So burst laser is going to come out, take their lasers offline. They missed with enough shots that we are fine. We also do have the option of killing the crew, but they have a med bay which is going to make this difficult since I can't actually use a fire beam. Or not a fire beam, a uh, mind control system. But maybe we can get it to work. First step though, take out their shields, start some fires in their ship. Here we go. Their weapons are slightly disabled. Let me just launch a laser at them. Make sure they stay offline. Okay, ionize their shield system now, start more fires. If I can start a ton of fires in their ship, we might be pretty good to kill them. So start more fires. I'll know within a, like a minute if this is going to work because their shields and their lasers will be offline and they won't be able to get them online. Now, because their shields are offline, I'm going to start fires and ionize their med bay. If I can keep their med bay offline, then they can't heal. And if they can't heal, they're going to die. So I unblast the med bay, keep them from healing, start a fire in the med bay. Start fires everywhere, basically. And as long as they're... Stop hitting their drone. As long as their shield stays offline, I think we can get this to work. Keep the fires going. Yep, they have the weapons online, though. So I will start a fire in their weapon system, but they offer a surrender. Six fuel, seven missiles, 48 scrap, plus an augment hacking stun. This is an acceptable surrender offer because even if I didn't really like what they were giving me in terms of fuel, missiles, scrap, they're giving me an augment, and that's something I can either use or sell at a store later. So that is a definite acceptable surrender offer. There is a store, I can visit it, so I'm going to go beacon, 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 store, have like maybe 200 scrap by the time I go to the store, which is awesome. It is a Mantis. They're going to board us. When they board us, I can mind control them. So I'm not really, you know, I have an opportunity to use my mind control system now. Do need to take down their weapons though. One, two, three shot weapons. All right. Uh, they boarded us. So we are going to mind control a Mantis. Get the Mantis in there to, uh... So the reason why the Mantis leaves and comes back in is because he wants to pilot, but he doesn't want to fight his own crew members, so he wants to leave and man the shield system, more importantly, than fighting. But then when I leave the room with my human, the, the Mind Control Mantis says, Hey, there is a, uh, a piloting system that doesn't have anyone manned on it. Let me get that. And so he comes back into the room. So he's going to help us kill Nick Me, the enemy Mantis. We're going to get the med bay online so that we heal, and then we will kill the other mantis when the mind control system wears off. Hopefully we can take their weapons offline. I will adjust power accordingly to get the uh, the engines powered up so that we can dodge, though. 
This is also a good opportunity to potentially use an Ion Intruder Drone, but I'd like to not, if at all possible. So this is going to be a little bit of a tough encounter. We'll probably now get the uh, engines powered up. Micromanage my power a little bit so they can get healing. I'm just going to let the Mantises fight. I should have done that earlier. And this is where it gets dangerous because they're firing a lot of stuff at me. We took one of their weapons offline and our... Uh, Mind control system got hit, but the Mantis is still mind controlled and he managed to kill the other unit. So he's going to try to repair the mind control system. We're just going to have to fight him now. Means we don't have any dodge chance, but as long as we can get one more shot in on their laser system, weapon system, we take their lasers offline. Start some fires. Okay, this is, this is going good now. We'll fire one more burst laser, take their weapons completely, completely offline. Human needs to leave. Get the, get the NGs in there to deal with the Mantis for the time being. Get the medbay powered up. Okay, this is this is very good. We should be able to, to uh, make it out of this encounter with killing the enemy crew. They also do not have a medbay, which means that Mantis is not going to get healed up. He's going to flee from putting out fires. He's not going to be able to put out the fires at all. Now, I can't use the mind control because I can't see the enemy, but if I did, then I would definitely use it. They are repairing their weapon system. I need to get the Ion Blasts to hit. I, I gotta take out their weapons. And I gotta start some fires. They still have the, th the three shot laser, so we might get hit by a shot coming in. But we just barely managed to dodge enough. I need to get a fourth or a third bar of shields pretty soon because we're not doing too well on the whole dodging enemy shots coming in front start some more fires. There's obviously crew members alive, but the uh, weapon system is obviously on fire. Nope, they're getting it repaired, so I will have to... I'll have to ionize their uh, weapon system. I think that's what I, I should have been doing, and I haven't been, because a couple of ion shots will put their weapons offline. They did invade us again. They are in this room, we can tell because the door system is being attacked. We dodged enough, enough shots. We might just kill them if we uh, if the fire destroys the weapon system, but it's worth a shot, you know. You know what? Just freaking mind control this guy. Mantis, you're on my side now. They've abandoned their ship, actually, now that I look at it. Which is good, because if we can kill the Mantis, then we can kill the enemy. Then we count as killing the enemy uh, entirely. Yeah, okay. Didn't work. Whatever. It was close. Man, it's freaking Mantis. Just go in there and kill him, please. There we go. Alright, we took a little bit of damage. We could have killed the enemy. It's really hard when you can't actually use mind control, and you're kind of relying on that to actually get a lot of the, uh, the kill shots, but what are you going to do? Well, what we're going to do is actually get some more power. No, we're not. We're going to... We're going to jump... Store, beacon, beacon, store? Question mark? Or why not beacon, store, beacon, beacon, store, exit? Maybe we'll pick up something better than what we have. So... They have a three-shot, one-shot laser, ion blast, a fire beam of their own. Okay, it's going to be an interesting fight. Do need to take down their weapon system ASAP, and then start some fires. We might not be able to kill the ship because this is a very compact ship, but I do need to take their uh, weapons offline. Good, we dodged enough. Fire beam is going to come out in a second, as long as the ion blast hits. Good. Firebeam make them unable to repair their weapon system. I think there's actually a fire in there already, but why not start another fire, you know? We might actually be able to kill them. I need to stop ionizing their uh, weapon system, obviously. Going to shoot a burst laser to take down their shields, then start some fires. Okay, so I think we can definitely kill them without killing the ship. 
good. There is a fire in the weapon system. Their weapons are offline. Piloting system is offline. Just need to keep starting fires in these rooms, basically. Keep kind of alternating around. So there are some serious holes in our in our loadout. The biggest is that we actually, since we can't do a lot of hull damage, we might have a bit of a problem against the Rebel flagship at the end of the game. So we will have to do something about that. Get some extra weapons that we can kind of put in our cargo and bring them out on the last fight. Because the Ion Blast plus Burst Laser plus Fire Beam is not going to be that good for us when we get to the first phase of the Rebel flagship. So we can get some good stuff here. Weapon pre-igniter. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, that's very good. I am going to buy the weapon pre-igniter. I am also going to buy the anti-drone drone. This is actually very, very useful. If we're being attacked by drones, we can use this to take them out. If someone wants to shoot a hacking drone at us, we can take it out. If someone wants to send a intruder drone at us, we can take it out with this anti-combat drone. It's very useful, especially on the uh, Rebel flagship fight, actually, the second phase. They've got a lot of drones coming out at you. You can just destroy them with the anti-drone. So, definitely want to buy that. Probably not going to use the Ion Intruder drone, so we're going to replace it with the anti-drone. Hacking stun would be awesome with what we've got. So, in blah, 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 blah. repair bomb, we don't need. Sell that. Ignore the steamy bloop bloop. Weapon pre-igniter, we have to buy. It's such a good item. And I'm going to buy a slug for a couple of reasons. First of all, he's good at weapon systems, so I can put him on the weapons, possibly. But also, this allows us to use the mind control system for the rest of this nebula. And we do need another crew member. We do need at least four. Four is like a bare minimum that you want to shoot for. So let's get a slug. We don't need to buy anything else. We could sell an augment, and I am going to sell an augment because if I was to find another augment just naturally, we couldn't carry it. You can't put augments in cargo. So I'm going to sell the NG Medibot Dispersal, because with four crew members, I don't think we're going to need it. So Slug is going to get on the... I guess the weapon system, because we already have Pipaluk partially trained in shields. And with the weapon setup we have, I think it's more important to have a guy on weapons permanently. And I'm not going to be moving the Slug all that much. He's going to kind of be staying where he is, for the most part. Okay, I think we're good. Let's jump. Beacon, beacon store. We're, we should get, you know, 120 scrap if we're lucky before we reach the other store, so maybe we can buy some more stuff. But now I can see the enemy crew. I could mind control them, but they're slugs, which makes them immune to the mind control. But that's fine. We do have the weapon pre-igniter. We can fire, fire our weapons immediately. Maybe take down their missile launcher. We did take it down enough that we can fire in a fire beam, which is going to happen. Start some fires. We can't see the fires, but we know that they exist. We can't shoot down the missile miss, the missile with the anti-drone, so there's just nothing we can do. They have a lot of ion weapons, I'm realizing. Ah, frick, and we got hit in the shield system. But yeah, they have a lot of ion weapons. I want to take down their weapon system ASAP. They do have a lot of fire still that they have to deal with. Fire beam is going to come out and keep starting some fires. They're very wounded, I think. One unit actually just died, it looks like. Their weapon system is completely destroyed. So I'm going to spend some time, get my units healed up, keep the ion weapons coming out. I accidentally stopped it. And they're dead. It's just a matter of time now. I just need to start some fires. In fact, I'm just going to shoot their shield system a bit. This guy actually died because the fire spread in from the uh, weapon system into the oxygen room, which is very nice for me. Pilot is still surviving, though. Uh, so this is interesting. We can 
let them live and accept their surrender offer, but we don't know what it is. Now, there is an opportunity here to get a quest for unlocking a slug ship. And because we're doing so well, I'm going to try for it. I don't think... Now, I think you can get it when you're in the slug nebula, so let's try it. We get six fuel, that's it. So that was a waste, but we had the opportunity, I think, to get a slug quest out of it. A black market trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula before pushing his wares. Let's mind control him and see what happens. Okay, so we actually know what the weapon is that we could possibly buy, and this is actually a weapon that we already have. We don't need two ion blasts, so we're going to decline, and then we don't get anything out of it. So with 60 scrap, I'm actually not going to go to the store. I expected us to get something before we reached it, but we got nothing, obviously. Our oxygen system is offline, which means we need to kill this ship kind of quickly. Start some fires. I mean, we, we can burn them out. It's just going to take a little while. Keep the ion blast going. Keep the engines powered up. Why not? Because we don't have a oxygen system right now. And their pike beam can't really do all that much to us. I can also just... Yeah, I mean, I know what our ox oxygen level is at. I can always just dump everyone in the med bay to keep them alive. So we, we can just kill them. It's going to take a while. Fire beam's going to come back. He's dead in the shield room. So let's just fire everything we got at this slug, and he's dead. Good. Okay, picked up some extra scrap. It looked like it was 38, but I honestly wasn't paying too much attention. Let's keep jumping the slug, and mind control combo is not really working out for us that well, but it will work eventually. Uh, we're going to attack them. They only have ions and a missile launcher. That's actually really good for us, I think. Because the missile, launch, missile launcher is the only thing that can deal damage. And they have crew members to mind control. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Start some fires. Mind control the mantis. They are... The mantis did leave the room that was on fire, which is actually very disappointing. It's not what I wanted. So we are going to have to get hit by this missile launcher again unless I can land these shots take it offline nope okay a bit disappointing that this is how it worked out I jumped the gun a bit with the mind control that's really what happened there ion blast did hit which is nice yeah we're taking some damage I'd rather keep let's fire the, the uh, burst laser yeah this is not working out as well as I'd hoped I mean, we're, we're going to live, but it's an annoying combat now. Missile did miss, which is good. They don't have a med bay, med bay either, so as long as I can get these shots in. To uh, damage their crew. There, missile launchers offline and mind control the people who are repairing. Missile missed, good. Tough, annoying fight, but you got a deal. Mind control the Mantis. He is going to stay in the room this time. Good. So they can't re do, uh, do any repairing. The missile launcher is still going to be offline. Can start a fire. Excellent. Mantis is going to die. NG is probably going to die from the fire in a second. Okay. So this, this ship is done. We're not going to take any more damage. So let's spend some time getting ourselves repaired. No, uh, you... Yeah, you're fine. And healed up a little bit with the hull repair drone. We've been pretty good about not needing to use drones in the recent past. They are going to get another shot off. That is very annoying. Get the dodge chance as high as possible. We don't need shields because they only have ion. We did get hit again. Unfortunate, but it's gonna happen. Stay in the stay in the weapons room for now. Okay, stop using the burst laser. I'm, I just realized. Instead, mind control this guy. Ionize the shields. Start some more fires. I, I'm I'm not playing very well right now. I will fully admit that. I should be not firing the burst laser when I was. I should have focused more on ionizing the weapon system and keeping it on fire. 
And in the end, we just destroyed the ship with fire. So that's very disappointing in me of me. I'm sorry. I will try better next time. I should definitely get some more healing done, though. Down to five drone parts. We will need more drone parts in the future, but hopefully we can pick up maybe a drone recovery arm. I'm still hoping that we can get one of those. But if we don't, we don't. I can only visit like three more beacons, so why not visit just these three next to the exit? Kind of a bad timing on reaching the exit, but we did what we could. We will attack the automated ship, definitely. They have a double shot laser, a halberd beam, plus a missile launcher. Not that bad. We don't need mind control in this situation. We also don't need the fire beam. So I might actually just use a combat drone, but let's see what happens first. Ion Blast goes in, first laser goes in, we missed their weapon system, but they didn't deal any damage to us, so we've got, we've got some time. I'm just gonna fire basically continuously on their weapons. Missing, which means this is gonna hit, probably, and deal, deal to damage, another missile coming in. Okay, this is, this is not the best situation for us. We need to take their weapons offline. But they have a really good dodge chance. Okay, get the hull repair drone online. We gotta we gotta repair some of this damage we're taking. Okay. Hit their weapon system. Take the missile offline. Good, 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 good. We're slowly dealing damage to them. They they don't repair that quickly, so we are kind of making progress. It's just slow going. Very slow going, in fact. Gonna get hit by another missile, probably. We, we can win. It's just annoying that we're taking so much damage. And at this point, I, I want to finish the fight so that we actually get something out of it, you know? Oh, stop missing. I will stay and fight these guys. I have hull, hull drones that I can just bring out. I don't care. I will kill you. Well, that's gotta be repaired. Keep the NG in the engine room to uh, help us not take as much damage from missiles, but we have to uh, get the fire put out before we can put out the oxygen, so never mind. Hey, their weapons are now pretty much offline. Oh, now they're totally offline. Okay, we're. I think we're done taking damage now. Now we just need to attack their shield system. They, they are repairing their weapons slowly, but I think we can take them out before they get too much stuff repaired. I didn't realize there was a breach there. Very dangerous, need to get that repaired ASAP. Take out their piloting system so that they can't dodge. Good, now that they can't dodge, every shot is going to land. Might as well just use another freaking no, I can't use another hull, hull repair drone. I need to keep some drones in case I need them. Well, that was a really super annoying fight. Holy cow. One more shot from the burst laser and they are done for. The fire beam wouldn't have done anything here because the ship is deoxygenated. There is no oxygen system on the ship. So the fires would have just gone out immediately. 30 scrap. Oh, it was worth it. It was worth it. Now we have like a one, two, three combo that I, I love. Defense drone protects us against missiles and hackers. Anti drone protects us against enemy drones. Combat drone deals damage to the enemy ships. Ion blasts can keep enemy shields down permanently. So this works out well. And if I need healing, I can just go to my equipment, bring out the hull repair drone, heal, put it back in my inventory. This is actually really, really, really nice. And now if we come up to, if we uh, come up to a ship that has missiles, we can actually defend against it. Freaking finally. It only took to sector six, basically. Yes, two slug ships, tap their comm. We have a quest beacon to follow them. Interesting, I wonder what we get out of this. I haven't played FTL, FTL in a long time, save for the previous run that I did. So I don't actually remember what all of these events do. But we do get to a rock sector. <sighs> Unfortunately, this is actually pretty annoying because 
rocks, rock crew members are immune to fire. And what this means is that we can't use the fire beam to take out enemy crew unless we take out their oxygen system because crew, the rock crew members will just put out the fires. They're immune to fire damage. So we can still mind control them and take out systems using the fire beam, but it's going to be a little bit tricky to do. Get everybody where they're supposed to belong. And you know what? I need some more shields. I'm taking a lot of damage to lasers and stuff, so let's take let's get a third bar of shields. They're already carrying out their raid. One is in close combat with the pirate, and the other seems to be heading for a small space cache the pirate was protecting. Do we engage? So suddenly the first ship bursts into flames and an urgent call arrives from the remaining slugs. We suggest we, you distract the pirate vessel while we retrieve the valuables 50-50 split. So they're talking to us. If we attack the pirate, we will kill the pirate ship and get some reward out of it, but the slugs will prob probably take the valuables for themselves. We could head for the cache, attack a slug ship, and then maybe get all of the rewards out of it. Whatever the rewards may be. Let's go for the cash. When he sees you making for the cash, the slug captain yells, Foolish aliens, no eye for profit. Best of luck to you, they jump off, leaving you toe to toe with the pirate. But they don't get the loot, so ideally, we kill the pirate and then we get the loot, right? Right game, right? Iron Blast going in. Burst laser take out their weapons a little bit. Fire beam, take out their weapons and shield systems. They're sending people in to put out the fire, so we mind control them so that they cannot put out the fire. And their weapons should go completely offline here, unless they kill each other. Nope, they're just going to completely leave the, uh, the weapon room. That's fine too, I guess. The fire is there, and the other crew member is in the, uh, the med bay trying to heal up. We can take the med bay offline and start a fire in it so they can't repair it. Well, they can repair it if they survive long enough. And even though we don't have the, I didn't realize this, but even though we don't have the uh, the sensors, we can see the enemy crew because we have the slug on our, our side. He is showing us the enemy ships. Interior. Okay, need to start a fire in the med bay. Keep these guys from healing. I don't know why I shot the... Uh, weapon system. We need to keep the med bay offline. Keep the shields offline and just attack the rock crew members because they uh, don't take damage from uh, fire. I am shooting the rock crew members though specifically to try to kill them though because they do take damage from laser beams. Okay, rock crew members still putting out fires. Their oxygen system is offline, so they may in fact die from oxygen deprivation. Let's make sure that we uh, have as many fires as possible throughout their ship. They're trying to get the shields repaired. They're not working on the mine on the uh, the med base, so they can't heal. I'm not going to shoot them though because I don't want them to uh, die. Obviously, I want to kill them with the ion weapon. And as long as I keep fires happening in the shield room. They uh, they can't really repair it now, can they? They are dying from oxygen deprivation now. I think I can just wait. I don't want to start a fire in the shield room because if it destroys the shields, it'll do one damage to them and kill them. So I'm just going to wait. They're trying to repair the system still, which is weird. Yeah, they're, they're dying from oxygen deprivation now. This guy has very low health. That's why he's not moving, I don't think. There we go. Uh, we search for the cache, but we can't find it. I wonder if maybe if we had a third level sensor we could find it, but we did get three fuel, one drone part, and 41 scrap, so that's pretty decent. We, I don't think we took hull damage from that either. Okay, moving on. One drone part for two fuel. That's like, that's like a terrible trade. Not only because I need drone parts, but because it's like one for two. Like, give me eight for nine or something, you know? All right, there's nothing there either, unfortunately. So two beacons that were, were basically worthless, which is pretty bad. You notice the rock ship performing combat exercises. However, they quickly change their course to engage your ship. 
They apparently treat unregistered sh ships as handy target practice. Well, I think they're going to be in for a surprise because we're going to knock the shit out of shit out of them, I think. Start some fires. They do unfortunately have a flak gun, which is going to get a chance to fire. Let's get the mind control out, though. Their weapons should get, get offline, and because they can't keep their weapons online, we will get a chance to uh, destroy their weapon system completely. Ion weapon needs to auto-fire. I need to remember to not take the uh, auto-fire offline. Their crew member is dead. They killed him. Need to get these ion blasts to actually hit, you know. One more shot. One more shot. There we go. Launch. Get some fires going all throughout their ship. Wasn't very good, but... With, a, with an attempt. Oxygen system does have a fire in it, so they are going to have to put that out very quickly, unless they want to be out of oxygen. I think we can kill these guys. They're getting the weapon system repaired, so I am going to probably just shoot. Actually, I'm just going to, I'm going to mind control and start a fire. That's what I'm, how I'm going to deal with this situation. Keep auto fire on. Hopefully this weapon goes offline. Ah, let's just shoot it once. It did go offline, but I still did shoot it once. Okay, taking out the med bay. I wonder if he can take out the med bay in time. I can definitely help him, however. Good, med bay is offline. I want the med bay out so that they can't heal. They can heal and put out the fire because they don't take fire damage, but I... Okay, I want them to asphyxiate and not be able to repair eventually. O2 is offline. I think we got this. We can... We can... Start some fires in the weapons, keep them offline. We can mind control them in a second, keep them from repairing the med bay. He's just gonna attack the shield room, that's fine. Now they're trying to repair the weapons, but there's no oxygen in the weapons room. Maybe not the best idea for them, but they can't repair it either with the fire in there. So now they're going to leave. Try to get the O2 system online, probably. Nope. Yep, trying to get it online anyways. We can keep it offline with fire, though, so... He's gonna have a hard time getting it repaired. And he's asphyxiating. I think we got this. Stunning them occasionally as well. Get some more fires going in the shield room. They have, they have no idea what to do. Lombard, if he, even if he repairs the O2 system, he's gonna die. It's gonna take a minute for the oxygen to come back. Oh, he's dead. 60 scrap, very, very nice. We're gonna have a lot of scrap. We may even be able to get to the fourth bar of shields before we go to the eighth sector, which would be great. Yes, I am going to help this NG ship out, even if it's a trap. They have a freaking glaive beam. Oh, uh, they just wanted to give us a better reactor. I will accept that, that's pretty decent. Let's ignore the store. I think our weapon system is pretty okay for right now. So let's try to get more scrap. Visit stores on the on the 7th and 8th sectors. Two mantises, they are attacking each other. We attack the surviving ship. Good, they're attacking us in the med bay. And I'm just going to have the pilot go in there really quickly so that I can send the shield person ng into the med bay and then send the human into the piloting system because i can i can heal two mantises with one ng and then what i can do is well first of all fire the burst laser start some fires and then mind control them on their ship there we go now i will send the other ng in to help because i think we actually can't tank two uh, mantises but with two ngs we can definitely do it Stop not auto-firing the dang Ion Blast, you idiot. They're going to get their teleporter online, or back online, if the uh, Mantis doesn't destroy it. Or it's going to come back online and they're going to teleport back, probably. They have a lot of fires to deal with. Start. That was a dumb use of the fire beam. I'm, I'm tunnel visioning. I got to actually concentrate on what I'm doing. 
get the human in here. Mantises are coming back. They're trying to run around, get stuff repaired, but they can't. Okay, shields are offline. Start fires. Good, mantises are dead. And the mantis and the NG have absolutely nothing to do because they, if they move, they're basically dead. This ship is really not in a good position right now, is it? And I messed up with the freaking fire beam again, like an idiot. Just kill the NG. 36 scrap, not bad. Could go around and visit the distress beacon, or I could kind of hang out up here. And I'd like to hang out up here, I think. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah, I think it's just safer to be up here right now. We would only get one more beacon out of it, if that, but I don't think we would. I think we have plenty of beacons here already that we don't need to worry about one more beacon down there. That's, that's a distress beacon because we have plenty of beacons up here. I'm explaining that very poorly. One rock person. I think we can deal with that. Our NGs might not be able to actually kill him, but they can at least uh, bug him for a while, prevent him from really doing much damage to us. Hit the weapons, clone bay. Didn't hit the cloaking, which is what I really kind of wanted there, but that's fine. Oh, hey, we got the achievement. Have four enemy systems ionized. The teleporter is ionized after you, after you use it, and the cloak is ionized after it gets used. So completely through no fault of our own, we actually managed to get that achievement. Weird. I'll, I'll give you that, but uh, not un, not unappreciated. Uh, it's very nice. Oh, I forgot that I need to be uh, mind controlling these idiots. Oh, and the fire in the cloning bay. Cloning, yeah, cloning bay. That's really, really, really nice because a the fire there means that the fire there means that they cannot come back to life if I kill their uh, their crew. So I'm just going to launch a burst laser at the uh, clone bay, get some damage done to those guys, prevent this guy from killing my shield system if at all possible, and one of their crew members is dead. Excellent. Need to get the fire started though. Start them like cloak, shield, clone, weapon. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm freaking... That's like the third time in a row that I've done that. I need to, I need to actually pay attention to when their shields are offline. I thought their shields were offline, but they obviously were not. Whatever, we killed them anyways. Three fuel, 50 scrap. I gotta stop, stop being such an idiot about it. Okay, I'm just gonna get a drink of water. Okay, renewed focus, let's do it. Get power cycled back. Okay, 208 scrap. I would like to find a store, but until then, let's get the max level mind control as well as... As well as nothing. I think we're pretty good. No, I will get the uh, drone control system upgraded because I'm going to want that in the future. You know, if we need a defense drone, we can pop one out. Search for the ship, we find it. Visit some more beacons. We can definitely get to the exit from all of these beacons, so I don't mind which order we go into them. A rock ship. It's got a lot of missiles, but this is why we have the defense drone. They are also boarding us with one dude, which is not that bad. They also do not have any lasers, so I don't need anyone in my shield room. The ion blast also makes the computer in the shield room unoper unoperable. So I'm going to send my NG in to help kill the Rockman, or at least delay him. Send the ion blast in. Send the burst lasers in, and if they hit, we send in the fire, and we mind control the people trying to put out the fire with the third level med bay, or a mind control system now, which is great. It gives our mind controlled unit a substantial bonus to their combat damage. And I, I didn't put, I didn't pop out a uh, defense drone because we have such a good fire going in here. I think that 
I mean, first of all, we could have just missed the defense drone, but also I can always just use one repair drone for the same cost and maybe even get more healing out of it. So that's why I did that. But we still need to kill this uh, stupid rock man. There we go. Swap those guys around so that they can deal a little bit better damage. Get them healed up. Get our other NG healed up too while we have this thing powered on. And they are almost all dead. The fires are probably going to kill them, which is kind of unfortunate, but if I can kill them, I would like to. If I can kill them with the fire. Yeah, this isn't looking good. I'm just gonna kill them. The ast because this is an asteroid field, there's almost no way that we can kill them without killing the ship. Actually, there might be, if I, uh, if I just mind control him. But he's just gonna destroy the shield system, so you know what, whatever, just kill him. They are offering us a lot of stuff, so I will accept that offer. It's another defense drone, which honestly is not bad, because we can use two defense drones simultaneously. And they will shoot down missiles separately, so against the second, or actually against any phase of the Rebel flagship fight, that's pretty decently. I'm just gonna fight them because I, it's, this is actually a good, a good encounter to get earlier in the sector because you can get more beacons out of it. But uh, because it's so late, it's worthless. I'm just going to fight them. And we should be able to hopefully take their missile offline, but they do have a second level defense drone, which is annoying. Yeah, we're going to we're going to have to pop a defense drone here. So let's let's do that right now. Pop a defense drone and try to uh, get our shots to land in again. Ion Blast Burst Laser at the same time. Good, and now we can start some fires. Start some fires, get them in there to repair the, wep the weapons room or whatever, and then we mind control them. And if we can, I would like to start fires and or destroy the med bay. I don't think we are going to be able to do that though. Their defense drone is still online, but now it's offline. So if I can get one more shot in, start some fires in the med bay, take their med bay offline. Oh, this is good. They are screwed. Our rock man is going to come off of mind control in just a second. There it goes. Take the med bay offline. That surrender offer is terrible. Absolutely terrible. So I did have to use one drone part, but it did block out a couple of missiles, I do recall, so that was pretty decent. Need to take the O2 system offline so that they suffocate. And also just need to mind control like this rock man, because he has so much HP. There you go. Stop him from putting out the fires in the shield room. Just kill the other crew members. Don't want him to repair the med bay, and I want the oxygen in the med bay to go offline. So there we go. Now this is this is easy. Now I can't shoot the uh, I can't shoot the burst laser because the fire will destroy the shield system, and they will take one whole point of damage. The burst laser is going to hit all three shots. I could have done that had I actually um, shot the burst laser while the shields were online, but obviously they are not online anymore start a fire in the O2 room to keep him from repairing the O2 room just long enough that I can land a mind control in on the oxygen room so that he uh, doesn't repair it and in fact he is stunned he is now ours and he's just gonna stand there and die good good fight didn't take any damage I don't recall and we managed to kill all the crew and we got a lot more scrap than they were offering in their surrender Okay, Sector 7. Oh, not yet, apparently. Demand the surrender of their goods? Absolutely. They're going to try to escape. So hopefully we can, you know, mind control them. Start some fires. I think we'll be able to do this excellently. Get everyone into the engine room to kind of take these guys offline, except for the pilot. Good. Fire is in. Auto-fire the ion blast. 
wait for both of their crew to get into the weapon room and then mind control one of them. They don't have a pilot anymore, so they can't escape. Would like to get their their uh, flak gun offline. Good, it is now offline. Now one more fire drone or fire beam going. Ooh, get out of there! I'm not watching my the HP on my guys as well as I should be. Uh, one more fire beam. I will be able to launch, to put it right in the piloting system and the cloning room. Killing the pilot, preventing him from charging FTL, and also if we destroy the pilot, the uh, cloning bay, then they can't come back to life. So, one fire like that is going to do good work. Get my med bay online, and this is an easy fight. Almost lost a crew member on my own ship just by being an idiot. Their teleporter's offline, so I have to go kill them. Might as well send the pilot in to help. Start more fires in the O2 room. Prevent them from doing anything, and they are screwed. Get everybody healed up. Oh, yes, and finally we get another crew member that we didn't have to buy. 58 scrap plus Magmar the Zoltan. I love getting Zoltans because they give you free power. So if I put him in the shield room, he powers it with that little yellow bar there. Excellent, excellent. Now we have a uh, NG who is going to be on the... I guess sensors for right now. And he's going to be our roving repair NG. Good, good stuff. Excellent. Now, I, Magmar only has combat skills, so he's going to have to train on the shield system from scratch, but that's fine. Piplock did not get very much training done in the, like, four sectors we've had him on the shield system because we've been just wrecking uh, enemy ships so far. Okay, next sector. Mantis or civilian? Absolutely the Mantis. Mantis are fun. And they invade, so we can always just mind control one of the invaders, take out their ships. They don't have, you know, Zoltan shields. They don't have annoying drones that the NGs do. They don't have, they're not immune to fire like the rock crew members are. So I like what we've got going on here. Got a lot of scrap. Don't really need to, uh, don't really need to do anything with our scrap quite yet. What I am going to do is just open up all the doors on the ship, force them into our med bay. Yeah, come in. Now that they're in our med bay, you know, we're going to kill them super easily. Might as well... O2's offline, that's why. Might as well send the pilot in there, maybe try to get him trained up a little bit. As well as a slug. There we go. Pilots trained up a little bit. Everyone sends back, except for the NG. Get them healed up a little bit. Invaders are are trivial when you have, like, at least three units and a med bay. If you have a cl uh, cloning bay, it can be extremely difficult. And in fact, you might you can get into a situation where you just lose. Kind of difficult for that to happen, but, though, but it is possible. Now, I would like to visit the store, but let's get some extra scrap first, because why not? We will definitely lead them to their destination. It's not in a bad place. One, two, three, four at the store. Go back to the exit. I could visit that store right adjacent to us, but why not go to this other store instead? And there's a store right here. Perfect. Hell yes. Drone recovery arm. 10,000% yes. This is amazing. This is exactly what I wanted because now we can use... Two defense drones plus an anti-drone every combat and not use drone parts. Because each one uses one drone part, yes. If I used them right now, I would go down to five. But at the end of combat, when we jump away, we will get those drone parts back. We can use them again. This is exactly what I wanted. Backup battery. Hell yes. Being able to have extra power, extra bonus power in the future is great. Cloak? Hell yes. Being able to dodge missiles and laser shots when I need to. Delay game, basically, so that we can get the fire beam charged up, I think is going to be amazing for us. You know, it means that we can use the defense drone and the cloaking to, to uh, really get around a lot of the Rebel flagship's attacks. Yeah, I like this. I really like this.
just gonna get a drink of water while I think about this. I, I just want to make sure, going through some scenarios in my mind. Okay, we're gonna sell hacking stun. We don't have a hacking system. We're probably not gonna get one. We're going to sell the combat drone. Yes. We're not using drones for combat anymore. We're using uh, ion blast, burst laser, fire beam for offense. Now it sucks because it's not a very good, you know, bit of offense that we've got. But I think we can get buy some more weapons at that other store. Let's get the cloaking system because at the very least, if we have shit weapons, we have even more defense that we can use to pro to prolong fights. Yes, this is, a, this is our final slot, but I think it's worth it. My only worry is that we might, in fact, be able to find a uh, hacking system in the future, but I still think this is better. We'll get Cloak. That was very good, very good. We are going to go up to the other store, though. Hopefully find a better weapon. I will, I will attack the ship. They are going to send a combat drone or a hacking drone after us. Well, you know what we're going to do? We are going to power up both of our defense drones because why not? Fire everything we have at their weapon systems. We can't really do much damage to them and the fire doesn't matter. So I'm just going to depower the fire, power up the cloak and the rest of our engines. Our defense drones should keep their hacking drone from coming in. Look at that. When their weapons come in, I can always dodge out of the way. Like right now. Our weapons will eventually pierce their shields. It's just going to take a while for the uh, Ion Blast to hit. And I am going to attack their weapon system first, just because if we can deal one point of damage to their weapons, I think we will be impervious to damage. We gotta actually hit, though. So much so that I'm gonna put the Ion Blast on the shields just to make sure they stay offline. There we go. Yeah, and their shields are coming back already. Try to pierce their shields and hit their piloting system as well. If I can take their piloting system offline, they can't dodge, so... But yeah, we're good. Two defense drones plus an anti-drone if we wanted to. And we're gonna get these drone parts back when we uh, when we jump out because of the drone recovery arm. Their piloting system is gone for good, so I might as well attack their uh, well something other system. Why not the engines? Start a fire. The fire is gonna go out because they have no oxygen aboard their ship. Yeah, keep the engines offline. So we have we have a pretty decent ship. But we don't have a lot of offensive firepower except for using the fire beam. Like right now, we're relying on the ion blast to take down shields, but it's, it takes a while, especially if we get a lot of misses with our shots. So we still have a little bit of work to do, basically, is what I'm trying to say. We will give them two fuel. They will upgrade our reactor. That's a pretty smoking deal, if you ask me. And we need a lot of power. We have a lot of systems that need power now. They have they have weapons. They have weapons. And I think we're going to buy a halberd beam. It's a really good weapon. Ion blast plus burst laser. We get some shots in, take down their shields. Halberd beam does three or two damage on rooms, so we can really cut up an enemy ship against the uh, the flagship fight. I think this is going to be great for us. Now they do have a hacking system. I think I may have preferred hacking to cloaking, but in the moment, I wanted to guarantee we had something. So Halberd Beam is being purchased, and we're going to swap out the Halberd Beam for the Fired Beam when we get to the Rebel Flagship fight. Until then, we're just going to stick with what we've got. Hull Repair Drone as well. We only need three drone parts now for the rest of the game. So every drone part greater than three is going to go into HP when we need it in the future. Good. I think we are doing quite well now. It is a Mantis ship coming in to attack us. We should be able to deal with it. I did not have the Fire Beam powered up because I replaced it in the uh, in the ship system select. So, stupidly, we are not going to have the Fire Beam on this first barrage. And we also actually also missed our shots. 
They're going into the backup battery room. I'm just going to... Ugh. It's going to mind control one of them, I think. I'm going to have to bring out a defense drone, basically, to prevent the missile from hitting. But, um... You know what? No. Here's what I'm going to do. Everyone get into the med bay. Open up all the doors on the ship. Get the med bay powered. I'm going to force the mantises to fight me in the med bay. We are going to have to use a defense drone. Might as well use it now. Good. Mantises are coming, so let's just um, make sure they actually get here. Turn the O2 system back on. Good. So now they're in the med bay. I can leave one person in the med bay to fight them. I need the uh, ion blast to start shooting. I keep taking that offline like a freaking idiot. We're going to send the NGs in there, I think. We're going to put Magmar. The Magmar is good at combat. Okay, tell you what. Slug, you got to get back into the weapon system. Let's see, let's see where this lands. Lands in the door system, that's fine. It starts a fire in the door system. That's not as fine, but we just deoxygenated the ship, so we should be able to deoxygenate that room very quickly. Okay, fire beam's almost ready. Fire the burst laser. Fire the fire beam. Start some fires. Good, now, mind control the people repairing the, uh, or fixing the fire. Open doors. Everyone go back to your rooms. Turn on the oxygen system. Everyone not go back to your rooms. We gotta heal up a little bit. I'm being an idiot about my own ship combat because I'm kind of splitting my attention, unfortunately, and talking at the same time, which is rather new to me still. Okay, you go there, you go there, you go there for now, you go there. Get everybody. I'm going to activate the backup battery too, just to make sure I have enough power for everything. Okay, their ship is getting a little bit beat up here. Let's hit him with the burst laser. They all missed, unfortunately. Okay, everyone's good to go. Slug, get into the weapon room. Doors close. Oxygen's powered up. Dodge chance is max. Cloak, we don't need. Their weapons are offline. Keep their shields offline more than anything else right now. In fact, start some fires in their shield room. Yeah, their shields are coming back online because I didn't correctly position my ion blast shots. But that's okay, their ship is really, really screwed right now. Let's mind control the person in the... I want to mind control the mantis in the med bay as soon as I damage it, so... It's damaged, it is now mind controlled so they can't repair it, and it is now on fire. Good. Backup battery depowered, so the extra power we had in the engines has been released. That's fine. Okay, stop firing the burst laser. Stop them from repairing with some fire. I wonder if the uh, bonus health is maintained after the Mantis mind control wears off. So I'm trying to follow him. I think it does! It's disappointing. So the mind control kind of acts as a, a heal, weirdly enough. Weird. This mantis is going to die, though. Might as well shoot him. Trying to fix the doors? Your oxygen system is on fire and you're trying to fix the doors? That is not what I would have done. But that's okay, he's dead now, 134 scrap. We might find another store, so I'm going to kind of hold off on using the rest of my scrap right now. We might, u might use another drone part at the end of the, or at the beginning of this fight, basically. We're gonna do the same thing we did before. Get, a get them into the med bay. Combat there is gonna be a lot easier. Ion blast the weapons, burst laser the weapons. Didn't hit with enough shots though, so I can't use the fire beam, so we're just gonna have to wait for a bit. Okay, keep them walking around, get the O2 fixed, close the outside doors, open the inside doors, mantises will go into the med bay, 
I was an idiot and didn't actually load a uh, defense drone because I just wasn't paying attention, really. I was focusing on the mantises going into the med bay instead of the missile launcher that was shooting me. Dumb. I also had a cloak. That's just so dumb. What can I say? I'm not playing FTL very well right now. More fire bombs. Damn. Just open up all the doors. There, we can start fires on their ship now. And mind control them. And they shot a missile, so I can just cloak. 80% chance to dodge. Why not get a defense drone online as well? Okay, wait for the fire to go out. Open, close doors, open doors. Get the med bay and the O2 systems online. I'm trying, I'm trying to fix my past mistakes. Ion blast the shield system. That is a mistake that I always make as well. Get someone into the piloting room for the time being. And we're going to get hit here because I was not an idiot, but I accidentally depowered the med bay earlier and did not power it back up. Oh, it's not going to go repair that. Take down their shields a little bit. Need to wait for their shields to go out before I can fire beam them, but they are all almost dead. Mind control wore off. This guy doesn't really know where to go, does he? Their shields are gone. I don't want to shoot him because he's going to move in a second and I don't want the uh, laser blasts to miss. He's going to move to either the oxygen or the, the uh, engine room and then I can just shoot him when he walks in there and kill him. So we get a lot more scrap. Nice. And I think it's about time that we get some healing done, because I'm an idiot and I don't heal properly. Or I, I take stupid damage and I need to heal now. Now there is a way that you can cheese, cheese the game a little bit. You can actually re uh, recycle the hull repair drone by letting it heal you twice and then jumping. That's very cheesy though, and that's kind of cheating, so I'm not going to do that. I mean, I guess it's not really cheating, but it feels like cheating. It pretty much is cheating. Okay, let's visit some more beacons, get to the exit, get to Sector 8, and focus on playing better. We will side with the Fugitive, fugitive because if I could get a Mantis right now, that would actually be really cool. I don't need Scrap, and regardless of what happens, we will have a positive outcome. The only thing is that if we side with the Fugitive and he's actually a trap, we might get some hull damage or engine damage or something like that. I don't think we'll lose a crew member, but um, ideally, uh, we will pick up another crew member. But even if we don't, hopefully we will still get some scrap from a fight. And we just pick up a crew member straight up. That is great. Close doors. Emily, you're going to go on the door system temporarily. Actually, we're going to swap you and the uh, NG around, because I'd rather have the NG on the door system. Okay, they have a, they have a ton of stuff. Defense drones anti-combat drones they don't have a lot of firepower though and this charge or chain ion weapon is kind of garbage so i don't really need to worry about that that much the biggest problem is that it's going to be difficult for me to actually get shots in due to their defense drone mark ii in fact i'm not even sure i can actually defeat these units right now maybe i can if i mind control one of their units and they kill him but these are NGs, and NGs are really bad at combat. So maybe what I can do is mind control, like, one of the guys in the weapons room. They fight him, and they kill him. But they oh, they kill him so slowly. Yeah, this is going to be a tricky fight. I don't think we can actually win this. I, I wanted to try a first level uh, mind control, just in case they would gang up on him and kill him in time, but I'll uh, I'll try something else this time. But yeah, four bars of shields. We actually did destroy the uh, second level uh, defense drones. So maybe we can sneak some shots in here now. Oops, uh, get this charged up and maybe try to mind control them. But if I can start a fire, then I would want to hold off on this. I want to start a fire in their drone system, obviously, because that's what's giving me the problem. I need one of these shots to hit. Nah, they, they got their defense drone online. Uh, we're just going to have to jump out because they're ionizing our shields to hell. I can cloak. I can cloak. 
their ion shot missed. Our shields are now back. Yeah, I don't think I can actually kill these guys unless I can destroy their defense drone again, but you know, we saw how that worked out so far, which is not very well. They can't damage me as long as I cloak every time they shoot their ion at me. So like, uh, I don't know. Do we try to kill them? We could. Let's try mind controlling. Maybe if we get lucky, we can mind control them and like do some damage, but I don't know. At the very least, we're making sure that nah, Trico already has max skill on the weapon system. And this uh, this ion is dealing four damage, but we can always cloak out of every other ion shot so they can't actually deal damage to us. We did a lot of damage with the unit that we had mind controlled, but Oh, and we did we did take down their uh, their defense drone. Excellent. Okay, burst laser has to get in there and hit. Not good enough. Not good enough. It's now back online. Two of these three burst laser shots have to hit. No, it's not going to happen. We're we're making progress very slowly. This fight is going to take like 10,000 years though. Do I just fucking leave? Like, I can't kill this guy! He's too good! Let's just leave. I don't want to take any damage. That sucks! I tried. I tried to kill him. I tried so hard. I just lost focus and I cloaked at the wrong moment and then my shields were down and I had to leave. Oh, so disappointing. He got away! He only had two drones left, too! Okay, just some mantises. We should be able to take these guys out, no problem. Ion goes in. Burst laser goes in. Fire beam goes in. Not gonna worry about them invading yet. Now I'm gonna have mind control. Now I'm gonna worry about the invasion. And prepare my mantis. Prepare my mantis. Because the mantis is going to go in and hopefully wreck these mantis that they have. Well, maybe not wreck, but we can always move them in and out so that they, um, they're not wounded. I can always use the NGs, for example, to take the heat off of our mantis human while they uh, heal. So let's do that. Let's send them out, put these guys in. Keep the fires going good. Make sure everybody's healing up good. Now, they don't have a med bay, but they do have a clone bay, so I do want to take that offline if at all possible, and our shot's completely missed which is not good. It means we're gonna have to do this one more time. One of their units is dead, but I can't kill him. And it's the NG, of course. Okay, clone bay's offline. Let's hit one more ion blast and then get a fire beam on this clone room so that they can't repair it. So now when they die, they're dead for good. Like this mantis, oh, you have no chance in hell. Now our Zoltan can go heal himself. Go back to his job. Need to stop firing the fire beam because I do need to place it a little bit better. Like this, for example. Should kill the mantises and the NG when this fire beam hits. Their shields are dead. They have no oxygen. There we go. Now they are gone. As they disintegrate into nothingness, we get 60 scrap, which is awesome. And I definitely could have gone to the other beacon and then hit the exit, but I didn't want to risk it. We're actually really, really, really far ahead of the curve in everything except for weaponry, but we still have that halberd beam in our back pocket, as well as a Hermes missile, which is very interesting. Yeah, actually, this is very interesting. We have 55 missiles. Charge time is 14 seconds, not bad. Three damage on a hit, not bad. Blistophobia, don't use missiles. Well, I have one now. Okay, we've already been through this. 10 fuel, nine hull points repaired. Repair beacon, which gives us just a bunch of stuff. I might want to hit that up though, just because it's free stuff. And I get some more drone parts guaranteed, like five more. We only have six, but I would like to get a few more just to be safe. And there's a store. Let's go to the store. Maybe pick up a new weapon. Maybe a weapon that has four power requirements. Nope. 
We can get some crew members though, and we can sell stuff and worry about our loadout. Okay, first things first, we have to make sure that everything that we want to have is upgraded. We have two defense drones plus an anti-drone, five power in the, in the uh, drone system. I do not have five power, so one, two, three, four. Okay, now we can almost put everything online with the backup battery. We can have everything online. I would like to get another bar of shields. We can do that pretty easily. We do need to sell some weapons. We do need to sell probably the fire beam, probably the halberd beam. Let's keep the fire beam. It only sells for 25 and we can use it on this sector while we approach the rebel flagship. We just need to make sure we swap it out before we fight the rebel flagship, which we we can, there's a few beacons around the base. We can uh, we can swap it out as we get closer. Okay. Hermes Halbeard. Halberd. Da, 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 da. Maybe we maybe we sell it now. What weapons do we have for the fight? Hermes Burst Laser Halberd, probably. We start with a Hermes, deals three damage. We start with a, or we send in the Burst Laser, takes down the shields. Halberd Beam cuts them up. We don't worry about the Ion Blast at all. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. We do need one more weapon upgrade for, before we can have everything online. All right, you know what? We're gonna do it now. Sell the Ion, sell the Fire, bring in the Halberd, bring on the Hermes. We will upgrade the weapon systems one, no. One, two, three, yeah, we have to upgrade the weapons one more time. We need 30 more scrap until we can get max shields. We are kind of low on power, but we have enough that I'm okay with this. We're missing one power, that's fine. We do have the backup battery still, okay. This is good, this is good. None of this is worth it. We don't have a clone bay, we don't have a teleport, and who cares about jamming FTL at this point in the game. We have the hull repair drone. We can still heal if we need to in the future. Drone recovery arm is good. Weapon pre-igniter is how this whole thing works. So we start with the Hermes. Takes down the shields. Hit him with the burst laser. Takes down the shields even more. Hit him with the halberd beam to do a lot of damage. Okay. Nothing else for us at that store. Let's do it. Hermes on shields. I mean, I kind of want a Hermes on the weapons, but Hermes on shields. Burst laser on weapons. And halberd beam, all of that stuff. They are invading us. I will send in the Mantis to deal with it. They are going to send someone. They're just going to uh, surrender right now. No. And I'm going to mind control the person repairing the shields. I was thinking about doing it on the person repairing the, the uh, weapon room, but no one was in there. They kind of uh, ran off to the uh, the clone room instead, and now they're going to fight the person in the shield room, so now they have a big problem. Their weapons are not going to do that much damage to me. They do fire at the same time, but as long as I dodge one shot, we should, we should be fine. Missile missed. Don't need to shoot it anymore, so I'm not going to. Burst laser did take down the weapon system, so I do appreciate that. And their crew members are dying. Our crew members are dying. They're gonna they're gonna teleport him back though, so I don't mind. Okay, halberd beam and burst laser. Can we take them out without killing them? Yes, if the mind control system comes back, but I don't think we're going to uh, be able to do it. We can't we can't really do that anymore. We just gotta kill them. We don't have the fire beam. We get 44 scrap, which is a lot more than uh, we would have gotten. And now we get the max level of shields. So now we have four bars of shields, which, which protects us very nicely against beams and lasers. A little bit against ion blasts as well. Should be combat, good. Now, same thing. Hermes once on shields. In fact, I should turn off auto fire at this point in the game. Once on weapons. 
and then on weapons, shields, medbay. And we will send, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, no, I can't. Let's smoke them out with oxygen. And what we are going to do is send the Mantis in to prevent them from destroying the O2 system while the oxygen uh, is removed from the ship. And we're gonna stop them from repairing. Okay, oxygen is out, so the Mantis can come back, heal up a little bit, and then send the Mantis back in in a minute. Double shot laser is not gonna hurt us. Let's shoot in a burst laser though, take out the shields a little bit more. And we can send this halberd beam to kill him. Excellent. 25 scrap. That's actually not very much. Gotta kill these two guys still. Just, you know what? Stay there. I'm gonna come and kill you with my mantis. Get him trained up in combat because he is a really good combat unit. Mantis are very good at killing other people. Get him healed up. Everything's powered up. 42 scrap. We have one more beacon guaranteed that we can go to because it's not taken over by rebels. There's combat. Good. Uh, defense drone has to come online because they are trying to hack us. So we turn on the battery, which gives us more power temporarily. Put all of the power in defense drone and put the backup battery power into the engines because it doesn't matter if the engines go on or offline, but if the defense drone goes offline all of a sudden, we could get hit by a weapon or a hack or something. Our Hermes goes on their shields. Missed. Our burst laser goes on their shields, it doesn't matter. And we didn't hit enough that we could actually damage them. So this is gonna be a little bit of a longer fight. And what I should do is actually depower the mind control since I don't need it. Burst laser alone can do it, but we just have to actually get in there with the halberd beam, and now we can. Doesn't miss, so now they have a lower do dodge chance. I don't know why I shot the burst laser. I was thinking it could go through the shield since we wounded it, but obviously it can't because uh, they still have three bars of shields. But now we can. And now we definitely can. Now they have zero dodge chance, so I can just continuously fire on their weapon system, probably. Take the ion offline. This way, we don't have to uh, get hit by this double shot laser that's coming in. I should have cloaked out of that. That was my my mistake. I should have done that. Our shields are back online, though, so we don't need to worry about it. But yeah, I. 100, 100, 100 percent should have dodged out of that attack. I forgot that we had the, uh... I forgot that we had the, uh, cloak for a minute there, because we haven't been using it all that much lately. Now, this is the last bit of combat that we have before, or... That was the last bit of combat before we fight the Rebel Flagship. They're gonna move to the base. Nowhere else we can go, so we have to be prepared. We are prepared. What does our power situation look like? I need more power. So I am going to get the backup battery upgrade and that's it for the time being. Okay, let's go. We have a good loadout. We have a pretty decent loadout. They're going to hack us. Defense drones have to go online ASAP. They're cloaked, so we have to wait for their cloak to finish. Defense drones, even if one misses, the other one should be able to take them out to a take out their uh, the hack drone. That was very close. They almost hit our cloak, which wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. If they hack weapons or shields, we're in a rough, rough, rough spot. Okay, Hermes going on the shields. First laser going on the shields. And then halberd beam go in on shields and that weapon, that, that uh, missile launcher weapon. Good, did a lot of damage. Now we use the backup battery and we put it into the mind control system because the mind control system will go offline about the same time that the backup battery does. Um, yeah, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna mind control the people repairing the shield system so that we can sneak in more shots. In fact, 
we should be able to sneak in both a missile and burst laser shot. Now their missile launcher is about ready to fire. The timing of when we cloak is important here. We cloak now because they've we've just shot down the hack drone and the missiles will miss when they come in. So cloak now, don't fire weapons. Okay, missile missed, fire weapons. We killed, a, we killed a couple crew members, and their shields are completely offline. We might just kill them right here. Yeah, we did. Excellent. Oh, very, 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 very good. Okay. Wait for everything to come back online. We can actually go to one more beacon of combat before we fight the uh, rebel ship, so why don't we do that right now? Yeah, it's just a... Just your standard... Uh, Rebel Auto Scout, uh, and we can actually finally use the anti drone and see what it, what it does. They have one combat drone Mark II, not anymore. So missile at shields, and their drone has been hit. It missed, but I still can hit with the burst laser halberd if the burst lasers hit all three of them. They do not, so we have to wait. Luckily, though, as long as we can keep their combat drone offline, which we pretty much can, they can't damage us at all. The beam and the lasers can't hit us unless they all hit, hit at the same time. Okay. Um, let's hit one. Let's land one missile. Easier said than done, apparently. If I land one missile, then we can kill him easily. But uh, getting one, one to land is apparently a problem. There we go. Now two have to hit. There we go. Three hit. So now we can just do that. So they apparently had nine bars of shield power because the missile hit for three and they still had three bars of shields online. So they had nine power in their shield system, which was crazy. On the bright side though, these guys are dead. Once we get the ball rolling with this Hermes burst laser halberd beam combo, it's hard for the enemy to come back from it. 106. Scrap. What do we put power into? We don't need cloak. Cloak, we only need to dodge attacks that come in really quickly. We don't need it to last for 15 seconds. Drone control, we have enough power into it. If a defense drone goes offline, whatever. Engines might be good to give us more dodge chance. I'm actually going to get doors. The next phase doesn't really need doors, but the third phase doors is going to help us a lot. I'm also going to get one power in engines. Okay. All right. Fight the rebel flagship once again. They redirected power to drones. So this is where we power up our drones. Two defense drones plus an anti-drone. The defense drones are going to shoot down not only missiles, but their boarding drones that they're going to shoot over. And our anti-drone drone is going to shoot down their drones themselves. The combat drone that is here and the beam drone that is here. Our missiles... The missile that we have unfortunately might not go through their defense drone. And actually, now that I think about it, that's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? But maybe we'll get lucky. We unlock the Type B cruiser because we have three drones online at the same time, I think. I'm going to separate my defense drones a little bit. I don't know if that actually helps us at all. Put all the power into engines. We have to dodge the missiles when they come in. We've got to get those shields offline. We hit with enough that we can actually hit with the halberd beams. We got it. We got to hit. We got to take those shields offline. Keep them offline. They did send another uh, boarding drone after us. One of our drones was destroyed, but we do have replacements that we can send up, and we still have one defense drone online, so we're fine for now. We're dealing damage. They have a power surge coming on. We gotta, we gotta dodge the missiles, though, so we gotta dodge right now. Good. They have a lot of drones. Our drone will shoot down their drones occasionally, but we also cloaked out of a lot of that stuff, so... Ooh, we 
destroyed their their uh, defense drone. This would be a perfect opportunity to sneak in a, a Hermes. Our defense drone has to come back online, even if it, even if it costs us a little bit of dodge chance right now. Our Hermes might make it. It did. Oh, uh, we've got the ball rolling now. Their shields are, are screwed. This is where my backup battery comes into play. Mind control the people trying to repair the shield systems. Missiles are coming in, but we should... We didn't dodge that one. We will shoot down this one, though, I think. No, we didn't. That's fine. We're, we're, we're in a good position. I'm going to send in the Hermes and Burst Laser immediately because we their shields are almost completely completely destroyed. I'll queue up a Halberd Beam. Get the fires or get the fires out quickly. Our shields are very low. I am going to cloak. The defense drone's back online, but we're in such a good position right now. Their their shit is is knackered. There they are. They're destroyed actually. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's get a little bit of hull repair going on here. Not enough system power. Gotta depower the defense drones, that's fine. Get people in here to take care of the fire in the med bay. You can get healed up in the med bay, so don't worry. Good, we're gonna get back up to full health. Okay, swap out for the anti-drone again. Now, they have super shields on this phase of the fight. We're gonna have to hit them with a couple of barrages until we can get through their shields. They're going to mind control us, but we can mind control ourselves back. They're going to board us, but we can just vent them into space if we have the opportunity to. This is the last fight. So I am going to get the oxygen upgrade just to make sure that our, our oxygen doesn't go offline. And we're going to fight them. And we have a good ship. I think we have a pretty good chance of winning here. Everything immediately fires counter hack or counter mind control. They're going to board. They boarded in the shield room, which is kind of bad, but we can deal with them. We have some people that we can send in there to hit them. Uh, burst laser is going to come out. Halberd beam is going to come out before the missile because the missile does pierce. We're going to... I forgot to send out the, uh, the drones. One missile hit, one missed. Unfortunately, it did start a fire in the shield system, but I think we can hopefully deal with that. Send the NG in there, put out the fire. We're gonna vent them. So this NG is gonna man the door system for a second. Hermes auto fire on their shields, just auto fire. Counter their hack, their mind control. You've gotta leave and heal up. This is where we cloak. Uh, may, slug can stay. Slug can stay. We're, we're, we're clawing this one back. Clawing it back? Not really clawing it back, you know, but whatever. Missile goes in on the shield system. Burst laser comes in. Halberd goes in. They're attacking our oxygen system, but it doesn't matter. Mantis is getting healed up. Get on the engine, you idiot. Take out their shield system. Keep taking it out. Burst laser the uh, missile launcher. Maybe we can take that offline? No. That's fine. Take him back. Okay, we're, we're, doing, we're doing very well now. We will get hit by this, and I don't think there's anything we can do about it except for hope for dodges. We got enough. We can cloak out of the missiles. And there we did, we won. Nice. nice, nice, nice. We unlocked a new ship as well, the Federation Experimental Cruiser. Sophia, Vincent, Pippaluk, Trico, Magmar, and Emily. Rebels flagship was destroyed, throwing their fleet into chaos and ensuring a Federation victory. A game from Subset Games. Very nice. And we had much, much better high score on the Taurus than we did on the Kestrel. Primarily because we were killing crew instead of killing ships, so we got a lot more scrap. We got enough that we could get fourth level shields, completely maximize our 
uh, reactor. We also picked up the weapon pre-igniter, which was a big help. And we got what I consider to be a very, very, very good loadout of drones. Two defense drones plus the anti-drone really helped protect us on those rebel flagship fights, but also helped us a little bit with missiles earlier. Yeah, I didn't quite use the defense drones as well as I should have, but we won regardless. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, let's, let's, let's not do that quite yet. Take a look at the achievements. We did get a few of them. Some people just like to watch ships burn, have every square of an enemy ship on fire simultaneously, get to Sector 5 without repairing at a store, even though we did repair using the repair drone, don't use missiles for until Sector 8. We only picked up the Hermes missile like one beacon before Sector 8, I think. And empty the oxygenated on an enemy ship, which was pretty easy with the fire and ion blasts that we had. A lot more to go, you know, beam every ship, Defeat an enemy ship with all of your crew aboard it. There are certain ship layouts that are better for some of these than others. So, for example, the uh, Mantis ship that starts with a teleporter is really good for this because you need to kind of need a teleporter in order for this one to work. But let's see what we have in the new ship. Federation Cruiser Type A. This ship features the latest in Federation technology and advanced beam weapon that pierces through shields. It's the artillery beam. It fires automatically, we can't control it, where it aims at all, but if it's powered, then after 50, 40, 30, 20 seconds, or whatever, it will automatically fire and do damage. Very useful for things like the, uh, the Rebel flagship fight, because it fires automatically and it pierces through the shield, so it will deal damage over time, even if you can't. If it's a long fight, all you have to do is survive. Focus on survival, and the ship can get you through. We also did unlock a Type B of the Taurus the Vortex. It starts with a heavy ion plus heavy laser, as well as some drones that are internal. Anti-personnel drone to help fight invaders. Useful because you only have one uh, NG crew member. And two system repair drones for doing repairs. Useful because you only have one crew member. You also do get a drone reactor booster augment. Increases drone movement speed. Basically, it's just something to sell. Drone movement speed isn't all that important, but this is a very interesting ship. You can do damage without using drones, which is nice, but the Heavy Ion can't keep enemy shields down permanently like the Ion Blast does. Ion Blast Mark II has a 5 second Ion charge in that it, it takes shields down for 5 seconds every time it hits, but it only takes 4 seconds to fire. So, you know, after you hit it 5 times, you've dealt 25 seconds worth of Ion damage in 20 seconds their shields are going to be down permanently as long as you can keep landing shots. So anyways, that was a pretty good Taurus run. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again for the next one.